Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Sabine Aydınova. Today I will explain another task. Given the vertices A, B and C of a triangle, then find the lengths of the altitude, altitude from the vertex B to the side. For example, this is our triangle. A, B, C. This is vertex B, which have coordinates 2, 1, and 3. For example, this is point A, have course coordinates 6, 7, and 3. And this is point vertex C, have coordinates 1, 2, and 3. And here we have to find the length of altitude. What is altitude? Altitude is a perpendicular to the side AC from the vertex B to the side. We have defined lengths. For example, this is the point D. We have to find the length of BD. And now you see that vectors B A and vector B C form the triangle and area of this triangle can be found by this formula S is equal to 1 over 2 times absolute value of scale, um, vector product of vectors B, A and B, C. We have to find vector product of vectors B, A and B, C. Now, firstly, initially, let's find the coordinates of vector B, A. 6 times 6 minus 2 is 4. 7 minus 1 is 6, 3 minus 3 is 0. Now let's find the components of vector BC. 1 minus 2 is negative 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 3 is 1. Yes, I found components of vectors B, A and B, C. Now it's time to calculate vector product of vectors B, A and B, C. Vector product of vectors B, A and B, C is equal to I um, write a determinant in the first row I, J and K vectors. In the second row I write the coordinates of the vector B, A, 4, 6 and 0. In the third row I write coordinates of the vector bc negative 1 1 and 0 yes i hope that you know how to calculate this determinant i work the times 6 0 1 0 minus i work the times 0 4 0 negative 1 plus k work the times 4, 6, negative 1, and 1 is equal to I make the times 6 times 0 is 0 1 times 0 is 0 0 minus 0 will be 0 say so make the times 0 times negative 1 is 0 0 times 4 is 0 then 0 minus 0 is also 0 yeah, minus plus k vector times 4 times 1 minus negative 1 times 6 this is equal to this is 0 this is 0 now k vector times 4 plus 6 is 10 yes now we have uh, to find absolute value of vector product vector of vectors b a and b c 
I write 0 squared plus 0 squared plus 10 squared because the coefficient of uh, vector k is 10 is equal to 10. Now we can easily find this area of this triangle 1 over 2 times absolute value a clear product of vectors b a and b c is equal to 10 1 over 2 times 10 is equal to 5 now we found that the area of this triangle is equal to 5 but in description we have to find the altitude from the vertex b to the a c side yes in order to find it we use another formula of area i mean s is equal to S is equal to area of the triangle is equal to 1 over 2 times side AC and times altitude, length of altitude and times the length of the side S is equal to No, um, yeah, here we write, can write vectors of components of the vector AC. 1 minus 6 is negative 5, 2 minus 7 is negative 5, and 0 minus 0 is 3 minus 3 is 0. The components of the vector AC is negative 5, negative 5, and 0. And length of vector AC is equal to square root of negative 5 squared plus negative 5 squared plus 0 squared is equal to square root of 2, um, 50 and this is equal to 5 square root of 2. Yes, now 1 over 2 times the length of vector AC is equal to 5 square root of 2 times length of BD. We have to find it. This is equal to 5, we know it from here. Then, length of vector BD and the altitude from the vertex B to the side AC is equal to square root of 2. The answer of this question is square root of 2. Now I found this task. Yes, that's the solution of this task. Yeah, I used formulas of the area. Uh, I used this formula. 1 minus 2 times absolute value of vector, uh, product of vectors which form the triangle. And I used this formula. Uh, area is equal to 1 over 2 times the side and the times the altitude to the side is the solution of this task i hope that you understand please i make some such this kind of mathematical videos also on my youtube channel you can check them out and please subscribe to my youtube channel like my videos share my videos to your friends who like math and who are interested in math and leave a comment to support me thank you for watching this video until the end if you like this video you can hit the like button yes thank you for watching this video until the end